Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a clean and disinfect with me. Basically I'm going to be doing a little bit tidying up of my house. I still am going to be doing spring cleaning which will be in another video in another area of my house. But today I'm just going to be doing a general tidying up. You know everybody's home. The kids are home. Everybody's home. So we just want to get the house you know a little tidied up for this weekend and also disinfected. I basically do have bleach but in certain areas like my countertops in my kitchen which are, um, my mind went blank. <laughs> Not granite, but when it comes back to me, I'll let you know. But anyways, quartz. They're quartz, so I don't use bleach on those counters. I usually use some oxy mixed in with some soft scrub, which I do not have. Um, it was very hard getting a lot of cleaners and stuff with all the stuff that's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a disinfectant of my own to clean up my countertops and other areas of my house that I just don't want to have the bleach smell going around the house because people are home, like I said. And also, I do open up the windows to let the house air out. That's one definite thing to do. And everybody's had little colds here and there. Me, myself, I've had a little cold going on. The kids. So I just want to get the place a little bit more sanitized. And um, I'm going to show you what everything's looking like right now. And also... Once I finish this, I'm going to go ahead and introduce one of my new friends here on YouTube, Raluca, because we are doing a collab. This is my bedroom. Bathroom. I already cleaned the shower, so I don't have to worry about that. But area, washing clothes, to this bathroom, and then this area. Yeah. Hi, Nai. looking this actually fell off the door it broke off it's right there so yes guys today's video is a collab with Raluca from not just a mom she is a mommy of two a wife and she does some awesome organization cleaning hauls DIYs cooking any of those type of things you know being a mother you'll find that over there in her channel if you're from Raluca's channel I want to say welcome my name is Natasha I am a mommy of four a wife and I also am a working mom but I work from home so here I like to show you guys my day to day I do organization as well cleaning lifestyle anything motherhood you'll find it here so definitely hit that subscribe button before you leave and I would love to have you guys here so let's go ahead and get into this video and definitely guys once you leave from my channel and go over and check out Raluca's video leave her a comment and let her know that I sent you guys over there and definitely show her some love it's been forever since I felt anything I didn't know I would need someone like you I didn't know you made me feel the things I do And now I know it's been so very long Cause it's been forever I felt anything So I 
you guys can see, I'm basically spraying everything down with some Lysol. I'm going to spray the bedding. Um, I'm also going to spray my headboard. Just spraying down different surfaces because, as I said before, we've all had little colds and germs. And I just want to make sure that I'm killing any of that um, so it doesn't linger and stick around. These little toys right here, Mason always brings into the room, so instead of me bringing back in front, I'm going to just leave them there. I'm not going to even bring the bin because he'll carry that back out front. So I'll just leave these in here so he can go ahead and play with them when he's ready. And I'm just getting his bed and everything like that tidied up. I had already washed his sheets the day before, so there's no need for me to strip his bed. Make sure you guys are sanitizing those remotes and things like that. Common things that you guys are touching, doorknobs, handles, all these kind of things you want to make sure you sanitize. And if you don't spray them with Lysol, you're going to either, you know, wipe them down with some type of disinfectant. Make sure you stay tuned to more towards the middle of the, middle of the video, sorry, when I show you my DIY sanitizer that I'm going to make. And also towards the end, I'll show you some of the things that I'm going to be wiping down using that. So I wanted to let the kids get settled and brush their teeth and get their self together before I started cleaning up the bathroom. So I'm going to let them do that. And then I'm going to get into tidying the bathroom up and sanitizing that as well. You definitely want to empty out your toothbrush holder if you have one. Spray some cleaner in that, let it sit for a little bit. And being that I'm using something that has bleach in it, I really don't have to use any other type of sanitizer in here because the bleach is going to kill any type of bacteria in here. So the bathroom area, I basically have products that I have with bleach. So you just see me using those regular items here, no type of DIYs or anything like that at the moment. Can you see how nasty that was? I'm so embarrassed to even show you that.
Although you guys did not see it, I did wipe down the other side of the glass. And also I just wanted to say, um, I know my videos are kind of lengthy. I am kind of detailed with what I do, so I like to share that with you guys. But I know sometimes we can't sit there and necessarily watch, um, you know, a 30 something minute video a 25 minute video if you guys are interested in me doing shorter videos maybe you know a couple times a week instead of the longer ones um, maybe 10 to 15 minutes let me know drop a comment below just letting me know that it's better for you guys and I will go ahead and see if I can get some shorter videos out for you guys and also if you have certain things that you may want me to do let me know that as well if you want me to share you know any type of DIYs that I'll be using coming up um, because it is kind of hard to buy you know cleaning products i would love to share that with you guys so let me know if it's something you've been interested in So as I said before, being that I'm using the bleach, that's going to be my disinfectant to clean the toilets off. Um, the shower area, my daughter's chair, I like to spray that down and let that sit for a little while and then I go clean that up. And then also, as I said, cleaning out the sink. And if you guys go out of your house, you know, you definitely want to be doing this a couple times a week because you want to make sure that you're not bringing any type of germs or anything back into your home. So make sure it's something that you're doing very often just to keep your space clean and free of germs. Now I'm on to my half bath and this area is actually sometimes very hard for me to film. That's why I don't film it a lot, but I think I found a way to film for you guys. Just to show you what I'm doing, as you see the hack is I put this on my toilet. Um, I am going to order the smaller um, sand. I've had it in my cart for a while now, but I've had other things I've been dealing with, so I wasn't really worried about it because I was still able to film. But that's definitely something I will be buying for myself, and once I do, I will share it with you guys because I'll be so happy because I can shoot from different angles and probably make it a lot more easier for me.
I just wanted to show you guys that the glass cleaner could also clean off your um, appliances as well, your faucet. It also shines them up as well, just so if you guys didn't know that. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself again. Give me something for the pain. Always trying to pretend. But I'm not living just a lie. Broken heart and shattered lives. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself. Okay guys, I basically finished my master bathroom, the half bath, my bedroom, the girls room as I said before, I'm not sure if I told you guys, I did it last night, I actually spring cleaned that, dusted it, it wasn't that bad, so I just put that in there, so all I have to do is go in there and make up their bed, I'm going to tackle the kitchen and family room now, just straighten it up, um, Jay and my father-in-law went to Costco this morning to try to get some stuff, they didn't have any wipes, they didn't have any um, baby wipes, life saw sanitizer, anything, they were able to get some muffins, we got some pull-ups, some more alcohol, and we got some um, water. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go make a DIY disinfectant. We have a lot of alcohol, so I thought we had some vodka. We don't have any vodka, but basically um, vodka is one thing that you can use for a disinfectant mixed with some water. You do it half and half, okay. and then you can add you some essential oils in there. If you want to put a drop of lime, you can. And you can also use the 70% um, alcohol. You can use hydrogen peroxide. You can use Dettol. There's different things that you can use around your house to try to do a disinfectant. So right now what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using white vinegar. Half it with um, some water with some lemon juice. Just as like it, my, my essential because I don't have any oil. So I'll use that as part of my disinfectant. And I'll show you. If you did not know, lemons or lemon juice definitely helps kill mold, bacteria, or germs in your house. So definitely think about using that if you guys don't have access to any type of cleaners in your household. You can definitely use lemon or lemon juice. It actually also can remove stains from your countertops, which I think is great because it acts as a bleach. So what you do is you pour the lemon onto your counter. You leave it for a few minutes, and once you see the stain moving or disappearing, you wipe it off. You can use it to remove stains in your clothes. You use it to refresh your home things of that sort so there's definitely benefits of using lemon and even vinegar and just other things so definitely google if you don't know about it if you're not aware of it sometimes it's a hassle to make diys but in instances like this where you don't have access to cleaning products this is a good time to know how to use them First, I'm going to go ahead and tidy up my kitchen as well. I like to work in a clean space, so I'm going to get everything picked up, put away, wipe down the countertops and everything, and then later on, as I said before, after I clean up here and tidy up the living room, I'm going to come back through and wipe off things with my DIY disinfectant that I made. So definitely stay tuned to the end so you can see that. you guys can see it from there but the edge of the table right there where that water bottle is when that door fell down it hit my table and I was so upset but I'm gonna have to just sand it down a little bit and I'm sure I can find a little stain to match the top of the table so at some point I have to fix that and I'll just have to you know switch the table around if I want to take pictures or things like that so that I don't have to look at it right now until I'm able to fix it but. See it in your eyes. 
eyes You want to see them more Like we are soulmates Something we never felt before Yeah, I don't mind Taking my time Let's stay in this bed now Never get out Cause I would love Wasting time with you, baby Cause I know It will be heaven making love with you I would love Wasting time with you, baby Cause I know It will be heaven making love with you Love is in the air tonight I am yours, so hold me tight Love is in the air tonight Oh, love is in the air tonight I am yours, so hold me tight Love is in the air tonight
So now I'm just taking my disinfectant and I'm wiping off these stools because this is an area that the kids and everyone definitely loves to sit at. So I just want to make sure I wipe that down, all the fingerprints and things like that. You know, the colds, they're touching their noses, they're touching all these different things. So you just want to make sure that you're disinfecting everything so it's not spreading from one place to the other. And unfortunately, I did not have a regular spray bottle, so I had to use what I had. But I will be going online when I get a chance and just buying a couple of clear spray bottles just to have in the house. So when I do need to make some disinfectant, I can use them. We did have some in the garage, but with all that stuff my husband got going on in there, I couldn't even be bothered to go out there and try to find it. Wiping down the kids' phones, their tablets, and taking time to wipe down the remotes, everything that I know that they use daily and often. I'm wiping those things down right now while I can. So I find that as my son is getting older, he's hit the three-year-old stage. He's actually starting to get into these temp temper tantrums where I thought he would be doing that going into the two-year-old. But it's starting to become more present now at this age. And I'm just trying to, you know, go along with the flow. I know this is, you know, childhood toddler life. And I just reprimand him where I have to. But sometimes it's a lot, y'all, just being honest. And if you're new here, these boxes in the corner, basically I have desks for my bedroom, but I'm, right now I'm painting my room or in the process of starting to paint my room. So once that's finished, I'll take the boxes and move them from there so I can finish up my bedroom. But that's why you see all the boxes and stuff there because I'm doing little updates here and there in my house as I can. And now we're just going ahead and Lysawing the entire place, the blinds, the cushions, the sofa. I'm spraying everything, y'all. I really don't care little carpet fresh I'm gonna do that and then also I'm going to use my um, little little spray that I have I'll show you guys in a little bit the little spray that I have the scented spray my pillow spray I'll use that in a little bit just to freshen things up a little bit more because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch and I need to make it stop For a better thing 
Wanna replace me? I'm in a place that I've never been. It's worth a lot. So now I'm showing you guys everything that I'm wiping down, all the switches in the kitchen, throughout the house, I basically wiped down everything. Some things I'm not going to show you because I didn't want to make the video too, too long, but you get the drift. I wiped down the front door, all the bedroom doors, the kids' room, I went in all the different rooms, wiped down all the remotes in everybody's bedrooms, so I basically took care of everything. So now I'm going to just go ahead and disinfect our toothbrushes with some hydrogen peroxide. This is definitely good to do, especially with everybody having colds and things like that. And it's definitely going to kill any type of germs or bacteria that's on there. The video's winding now. Now I'm basically going to go ahead and um, vacuum. The sheets were still in the dryer, so you're not going to see that. But you will see me folding up the rest of the towels at the end of the video. And I just want to say again, once you're finished here, definitely go and check out... Um, for Lucas channel I did leave her link below and also if you're over from the Lucas channel I want to say thank you again and I hope you guys subscribe I would love to have you here and you guys have a great one and I'll see you in the next video